What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the only, um, how I categor categorize uh, martial arts and hand-to-hand -hand combat, okay? So, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I was reading through my comments and there's a lot of old videos I did like about a year and a half ago, you know, on Taekwondo, this and that, because uh, I'm 41 years old, guys. I've been doing martial arts my whole life. I did Taekwondo for about three years when I was younger. And uh, one of the reasons why I stopped at one point is, uh, uh, well, that, that initiated um, the whole thing where I, I figured it wasn't enough and I didn't actually know how to fight because I was practicing Taekwondo at this particular school. And uh, I, I was literally lighting this guy up with kicks, you know, this older guy. I don't know how old he was, but I was, uh, at that time, I was like 16, man. And I was I was whooping his ass, right? Kicking his ass left and right, you know, just, just Taekwondo style, you know, with the vest and everything, just boom, 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 sparring. And so it's really heavily kicking base. And then the guy punched me. And then, oh, well, I ended up, you know, I didn't know what to do, so I cried. <laughs> you know, you're 16 year old, and a grown ass man punches you in the face, then, you know, that was that, right? And uh, so then I got a lot of, I made a video regarding that a while ago and then some people commented and uh, said, that, oh yeah, you should have, um, you should have, you, you know, you should like uh, learn Taekwondo uh, at a different school. If you went to Korea, they would have learned how to fight. It's more self-defense based and, and blah, 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 blah. And of course he criticized the school and stuff like that, which um, in retrospect, even myself, I think that uh, what happened and that and somebody mentioned well that's that's essentially assault you know and which it is but you know i'm not crying about that i don't care you know it led me down another path because of that so it kind of was a blessing in disguise but i would say that the way it was handled by the adults who were there because i was 16 like when i think back on it i was a kid right now i'm 41 so if you punch me i'm not gonna have the same emotional reactions because i've been punched before <laughs> and uh, I've been training for a long time now, so there's a lot less emotion involved if you're gonna punch me, you know? Like, I'm not gonna react the same way as a 16-year-old who might very, be very athletic and talented, but then after that, like, you, you still don't have the, uh, the maturity, the mental fortitude, because you haven't been through enough to really deal with that in a, a mature and controlled manner, you know? Uh, in a sense, right? Now, if somebody punched me in the face now, well, I'd be able to defend myself. That's for sure. I would. I would take care of business, and um, yeah, we all would go. We'd go, like you know. And I, 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 I stopped at 16 years old. I was beating the shit out of the guy. The guy punched me, and I didn't know how to react. And I was like, I was dumbfounded. I didn't know what to do because I didn't know how to punch and all that. Okay, so to getting back to my whole point of this video is that a lot of people were saying, oh, you didn't learn Taekwondo the right way, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you had a shit school, shit master and stuff like that. Now, I do agree the adults, the way they handled it there, they handled it wrong. I would have ha handled that very differently, right? If I was the adult and I saw like a 16 year old get punched in the face by a fucking 25, 30 year old man, right? Like I wouldn't have let that slide very easily, man. That, that would have been, I would have took that, uh, I would have took that guy into a corner, beat the fuck out of him, right? And then after that, have him come on his knees in private, of course, and apologize to the kid, talk to the kid, train him, you know, like fix his issues with his mind and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I would have fucked that guy. That guy never would have came back to the club. I would have fucked him up good, you know? I would have fucked him up good. And it's not just, just because, like, me, like, having issues with that. But if I had a club and then, and then some adult <clears throat> smashed on a fucking uh, kid like that, like, no, first of all, <clears throat> that guy would get a beating, the beating of his life, one, in private, not, not in front of everybody, obviously, because, you know, you want to, in this day and age of, of cameras, and everyone has one on their phone, no, I would have brought him in the corner, fucked him up good, right, then after that, bring in the kid, have him apologize, see that I fucked him up, right, and then after that, tell him, okay, this is, this is not something that's, uh, uh, that's acceptable, so you're out, you know? And it's as simple as that. You're gonna shut the fuck up because essentially, what, you're gonna, you're gonna press charges on me? You just beat up a kid, so shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of here and never wanna see you again, that's one, right? And of course, make him apologize, get rid of him, and build back the kid. That's what I would have done. Okay, so now that being said, that was just me ranting and that's what I would do, that's what I would have done if I was the adults, like the way I am now, that's how I would have dealt with that situation, right? 
Now, that being said, so the adults, in my opinion, who were there, who were practicing martial arts, are all a bunch of fucking pussies. That's the way I see it. You guys didn't do what you were supposed to do, you know, to protect, not me, personally, but just a young kid who was, you know, uh, being essentially assaulted on by some fucking faggot, right? So anyways, let's, uh, let's sorry about the cursing, guys, but, you know, it's, it's still emotional, right, kind of? Okay, so... Then uh, a lot of the comments, oh yeah, you went to a shit school and blah, 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 blah. So I, I thought to myself, okay, listen, this is how I divide it in my mind right now in terms of martial arts, okay? So martial arts, un, 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 okay, why am I losing uh, my, uh, my thought pattern here? Uh, unarmed, okay? Unarmed combat, hand-to-hand, -hand, hand hand-to-hand combat. When it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's only really two distinctions. There's grappling and there's striking, okay? Now, of course, within grappling, right, you have different styles, different uh, things. You know, you have the takedown aspect of it. You have the clinch aspect. You have the ground control. You have the uh, submission, uh, you know, and all kinds of stuff, right? So those, are, those would be aspects of grappling, right? So, and then for striking, well, of course, there's a lot of forms of striking, you know, there's, but essentially striking with your, your fists, Okay, your limbs, your arms, your legs, and that's pretty much it, right? And of course, uh, uh, of course, when I say the arms, right, that includes the elbow, the shoulder, you know, well, you could headbutt, whatever. And if you're, if, when, I, when I talk about the legs, I mean, you could kick, right, and you could knee. So there you go, you know? So that's how I, I separate things. And Bruce Lee said this at the end, uh, something to this effect, okay? Uh, at the end of the day, a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick. Now, I agree with that, right? I think that, dude, we're all human. So unless you grow like a, a second pair of arms or a second pair of legs or second head or, or some kind of tentacle that you could use as a weapon, we're, we all have two legs, two arms, a spine, right? The same muscles, you know, so to speak not so to speak, we have the same muscle, the same, uh, the same number of bones, and, uh, and so on, and we can only fight the way uh, we can fight, right? So that's what I believe it means. A punch at the end, like a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick, bottom line, right? Now, if you wanna go into, uh, um, <laughs> here we go again, um, unarmed combat, hand-to-hand -hand un unarmed combat, right? Or is that the same thing? Yeah, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, hand-to-hand, -hand, you know, no weapons, right? Hand-to-hand -hand combat, grappling, striking. That's it, that's all. Now, what are the most effective forms? Of course, there's a lot of debate on this, but uh, as a point of reference that I use for now, right, like things might change in the future, is I look at MMA, mixed martial arts, right? That's what MMA stands for, guys. It's not, MMA is a, is a style. It's not a style. It's a whole bunch of martial arts, used together you know and you know they made the best man win in the cage so the more tools you have the better uh the better uh fighter you'll be the more more effective fighter you'll be so to speak right and of course you have to be able to put everything together and strategize and all that and it gets pretty uh, technical but i mean if you look at mma and you see what actually works well you have to master the basics first right so the basics in mma that like if if you do not and without these basics you won't be able to do use any of the fancy shit that you learn in any kind of uh, other martial art right so of course jujitsu you have to know you have to know how to fight off the ground wrestling because you gotta be able to take someone down or at least understand it so you can defend it right sprawl and brawl kind of thing boxing you gotta know how to punch and of course kickboxing because you have to know how to kick and and thai boxing too right so even before like let's let's call it for the ground for the grappling aspect of it you need jujitsu wrestling that's the foundational 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 okay and then from there if you need to strike well you need you need to box and you need to know how to kick so boxing is important and uh and of course kicking so i say boxing muay thai right because the thing with Muay Thai, traditional Muay Thai, is that they're very open, right? They're like, like this. And um, so that can pose a lot of problems. They're very square too. So 
you know, it's uh, it's a little bit different. So it has to be a little bit ad adapted, right? Like uh, I think the Dutch they've done a great job. So when when you when when they call it Thai boxing, it's slightly different than Muay Thai, right? Muay Thai is like super traditional, where they're just standing like this and they're just like, man, they don't even care about like uh, getting punched in the, uh, the stomach, so to speak, right? They're just like this, and you know, as somebody comes in, boom, boom, and they're very square. They're not uh, very mobile. Oh, well, actually, I wouldn't say that. I don't know enough about it at this point. That's just talking fast here right so definitely Muay Thai and boxing right and after that for, for the striking aspect of it and then on the ground you need your jiu-jitsu and you need your wrestling for the grappling okay that's for the grappling for the striking okay so you got those four things and then only then only then can you even think of adding on other stuff right for like karate or, or taekwondo and then after that if you're specializing in one of those things there then okay, it could give you an edge, definitely, right? But it's not the, uh, it's not one style that's gonna make a difference, right? And so get, to get back to what I was saying, um, what works, what doesn't work? Well, dude, in my opinion, like MMA has pretty much filtered out all the stuff that, uh, that doesn't work. And I'm not saying that it won't, It'll always be that way in the sense that it, like it, it does, doesn't work at all. I'm just saying that if you don't have the basics mastered, okay, of grappling and striking, right, then whatever else martial art that you learn, it won't be, it will be very hard to apply in the context of an MMA match, okay? So that's why when, when people leave comments like, oh, you should go do this, you should, guys, I know how to fight, man. I know how to box. I know how to Thai box. I've done Taekwondo. I've done Kung Fu. I do Judo. I do uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, or I've done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. So I don't need to go learn like uh, uh, from a different master of, for example, Taekwondo, just so I can learn how to strike. I already know how to strike now. It doesn't matter like if you, I know the stuff that, that, uh, that I would say works very very well very very well and uh so that means boxing i understand thai boxing right and i have a i have a edge because i've done taekwondo so i'm actually with the feet it's pretty fast and stuff for like that and of course in terms of grappling you guys know that that's my main thing i'm a grappler so i got my bases covered man i don't need be needing to spend to go search for some master in in karate or i'm not saying that that it's uh that you shouldn't do it i'm just saying for myself right like, uh, I know how to strike already. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all, you know? I know how to strike, and uh, I know I, I've gotten hit, I, I sparred, I, you know, of course, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, right? So I know how to fight. I don't need to go learn some martial art that, and, and I pretty, I wouldn't. Even if I had the time, honestly, I would like focus on the stuff. Like there's so much to learn and, and so much skill to keep developing and nuances in boxing, in Thai boxing. Man, you could spend a lifetime doing any of these martial arts, right? And, uh, and even in judo and, and wrestling and all that and, and uh, BJJ. So, man, you know, it's not, why, why would I bother trying to learn something that, dude, it's, it's most likely it's not gonna work if you, like, yeah, I can make it work, but I don't know, man. The, the thing is life is short. If we had like 200 years on this planet, then okay, you know, I would divide my time up differently, but we don't. And so I like to stick to stuff that uh, I know works, that works well for me and, uh, and it works well for a lot of people in 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 in, uh, in combat sports, right? And um, that's it. So that's the way I see it, guys. You have to you have to split it up. It's grappling and striking. So now, if you're and in the grappling game, well, you have the takedown aspect of it, and then you have the the ground aspect of it, right? And then for, for striking, well, you got your you got your fist and you got your feet. So you guys have to figure out which is best for you. Now. Like uh, I don't care how good you are in striking. If you never grapple and you get taken down, you're 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 screwed. It's over. Curtains, baby. Curtains. You know. And uh, I think it's also the same thing if you um, uh, if you're um, if you're um, if you if you're if you just do grappling, but you you oh, I, I don't I don't want to learn how to strike and stuff like that. Like yeah, you could because you could you could get knocked the hell out, right? You can knock the, get knocked the fuck out like like this, man. If you don't know what you're doing, right? You just walk in and. Think you're gonna take somebody down and he 
he cracks a, a one two quick quick and uh that's it man you're out so that's the thing so if you're if you're a martial artist i'm not saying if you're a, if you're a martial artist right a real martial arts you can't be like so um how do you say close-minded to think that only one art or like one master knows everything one master you know maybe for ras sahabi but okay <laughs> you know but i mean like one master of a style will be enough to be able to uh to be well-rounded not at this point the game the, the things have changed man you know think of it every art and every like there's evolution in fighting too you know evolution in technology and sometimes and and you have to see that uh that way too like uh and now the technology is getting uh sharpened and sharpened through mma through competition and stuff like that it's like the kicking the punching the setup the footwork everything is being like super upgraded so if you're studying only the the stuff from the past because you have some kind of romantic idea that oh yeah yeah, yeah, I'm like that too. You know, I like watch those movies. Yeah, it's nostalgic, nostalgic, and all that. And you, you watch them, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, blah blah blah. And all he's doing is training with a tree. And oh my God, he comes back after a year, and he's fucking kicking everyone's ass and shit like that. Nah, man, that's that's like that's just movie stuff, you know. And um, it's 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 fun. It's romantic. It's it's uh, you know, and all that. But uh, hey, things have changed, man. Things have gotten better, faster, stronger. You know, there's new development in 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 a lot of ways we train, the way we eat, uh, strategy, technique, footwork, timing, this and that, action, reaction. So, I mean, if you're not, uh, uh, if you're still stuck in that mindset where all you need is one art or one master that could show you everything and all, and your master tells you, no, no, don't worry about the takedown. Look, my footwork and I do this and then I move away and the guy can't take me down and I push him, I use his energy. Dude, shut the fuck up, man. You know, go, go to a grappling school, like, do me a favor, go to a grappling school, get, and, and tell me how that works out for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to a BJDL, those guys love to fucking, uh, <laughs> hand, hand over, hand your ass to you. And, uh, so that's it, guys. Um, that was in, uh, I gotta title this video. Okay, so like the video, subscribe, and, uh, comment, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.